Danielle Brigoli, aka Bad Baby, aka Cash Me Outside, how about that girl? Well, she wants you to know one thing, you really need to keep that last name out your mouth. How come? Well, because she says she's proven to be worth a whole lot more than just that. And she kept the receipts to prove it. I actually feel like I was a part of making this girl famous when she blew up. I was right there with a viral video, but we couldn't figure out who she was. So it was titled After They're Famous. And I heard she wasn't happy. Now, a few days ago, she hopped on Instagram Live to let her followers know that a new era was dawning in her career and that the days of her only being worth around $20 million, well, they had come to an end. Now, after informing everyone that she was officially done as the Cash Me Outside girl, well, she then dropped a bombshell that she makes over $50 million in one year alone on OnlyFans. My God, men everywhere should be ashamed. So what does she do with all that kind of bank? Well, she bought herself some of the iciest jewelry on the planet, which includes a $40,000 plus 14 karat gold pendant that was specifically designed for her. On top of this, there's also her $40,000 smile and even a $6 million home in Tampa Bay, Florida. But the real story isn't baby spending habits, it's how she's earned all this money in the first place. A mildly successful rap career, a ton of social media earnings, endorsement deals, and most importantly, well, her OnlyFans profile. So if you've ever wondered just how wealthy Bad Baby really is, well then pull up a seat and join us as we take a look at her very the rich life. My name is Michael McCrudden. I don't say that anymore because as most of you already know, but yeah, let's get into this video. And my God, she's a lot richer than me. Like, wow, who's gonna OnlyFans this? In April of 2021, only a few weeks after turning 18 years old, well, Bad Baby made the business decision to join the subscription service known as OnlyFans. Now, this is the social media platform known for its totally creative freedom, which generally means that most of the time, well, it's content creators, they're making money simply by, well, taking off their clothes. Now, how not safe for work is Bad Baby's account? Well, to be honest, those paying for the service, they aren't really sharing the details, but she certainly does her best to give the impression of there being, uh, well, some eye-raising material on there. I, I'm sure it's all those like gifts, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I didn't go. So just how much is she earning on the platform? Well, according to a screenshot that she shared online, after only her first day of creating content, well, she had already earned close to $1 million in just six hours. Now those earnings, they shattered the previous record holder for one day totals, besting the previous mark set by actress Bella Thorne. Now breaking down those earning report, we can see that baby, she's charging around $24 per month for her content, which makes her around $757,000 in subscription fees, $267,000 for direct message payments, and over $5,000 in tips. Now after an entire year of creating content on the platform, well things have only gotten better for baby. Now, in fact, she's also so proud of everything she's accomplished that in an interview with TMZ, well, she bragged about having made $50 million or more just from OnlyFans alone in one year. Now, as you might imagine, well, that led to a ton of skeptics online calling Baby out for what they were sure were like made up figures, only they weren't. Because Baby, well, she was more than happy to show that, uh, well, she had uh, the receipts. Take a look. Now, as you can see from that image, well, Baby earned close to $53 million between January of 2021 and January of 2022. In fact, once the platform took its cut, well, she netted close to $42 million in pre-tax net income. Furthermore, she earned around $16 million from the subscription price and $25 million from messages, also $160,000 in tips. Now, while Bad Baby has definitely made the most out of her OnlyFans career, she also cashed in on a ton of other opportunities as well. For instance, as of writing this script, well, she's got over 7 million subscribers on YouTube as well as nearly 17 million followers on the gram, which is a platform where she's often paid large sums of money for product placements. Now, some of her earliest brand deals, well, they involve companies like Fit T and Postmates, for which she was often paid as much as $100,000 per post. Now, she also teamed up with apps like Snapchat to create a reality television series for the social network titled Bringing Up Baby. Now, this series, it actually earned 10 million unique visitors in the first 24 hours, and it lasted a run of 12 episodes. So I'd say it was a success. I feel like Snapchat's been hurting, but hey, it worked for her. I'm not just some little bratty-ass white girl who does music. You don't have my song license? I give up everything so you can- What did you give up? But as 
much as social media is definitely bad baby's bread and butter, her real heart probably lies in her music career. After getting famous on the Dr. Phil show for being quite possibly the worst daughter anyone has ever had in the history of motherhood, well, bad baby quickly tried to parlay that fame into a hip hop career by appearing in the music video to Kodak Black's track, Everything's 1K. Now the following year, she would release her own debut single, These Hoes, and with that track, will she become the youngest female rapper to ever appear on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Having accomplished something so impressive with labels they came calling and she inked a deal with Atlantic Records. Now soon after, she was dropping her debut mixtape, 15, in September of 2018. Now the single from that album, Hi, well, it would become her second to appear on the Billboard Hot 100. Then in July 2019, she signed a $1 million songwriting and publishing deal with a company called Pulse Music Group, who also represent acts like Run The Jewels and Ty Dolla Sign. Now the deal is said to pay Baby $350,000 up front, and then will pay two additional installments of that same amount after reaching several revenue milestones. Now according to the contract, she'll also earn 70% of future record sales profits. Now lastly, when she's set to give a live performance, well, Bad Baby demands as much as $40,000 per show. She also claimed that during her 2018 25 City Band in the USA tour, well, she earned as much money as $1 million. So you're making it in a lot of directions. And guess what? We're not even done exploring how Bad Baby earns all her cash. Now to wrap things up, we gotta check out her endorsement deals. Now Bad Baby has claimed in the past that she's earned as much as $2 million from product placements in her music videos from the likes of Nike and Fashion Nova amongst many others. And while that's certainly a healthy sum, well, she didn't earn all of that in just one go. Now the biggest single endorsement deal that Bad Baby ever signed, well, it was one with an up and coming cosmetic company known as Copycat Beauty. In the last video, I showed y'all all the products from Copycat Beauty. They're just really great. They're the same quality as all the other shit, just for cheaper. Who doesn't want to pay less money? They hired Baby in January of 2019 for $900,000, and they reportedly offered her a cut of the company's profits as well. But now that we've covered how Baby earns all that cash, well, let's take a look at how she spends it. Now, I'll give Bad Baby some credit for the most part. She seems to be pretty smart about what she drops a bag on. Sure, like most wannabe rappers, she's more than happy to flaunt her spending habits on social media, but she saves the bulk of her money for more practical fare. Let's say like a, a $6 million home in Palm Beach, Florida. Now, you might be asking why Florida? Well, it turns out she's from there, but Baby said it herself, she's not about to pay those California taxes. Now for the $6 million she spent, she secured herself a 9,200 square foot home, which was owned by NFL linebacker Jason P.R. Paul. And this comes with numerous high-end touches like porcelain tile, Lutrid lighting, and a Sonos home sound system. Sonos home sound system, so she can listen to herself, I'm guessing. Now there's a ton of amenities, but my wife's actually done an entire house tour video, so if you want the full scoop, be sure to check that out. And from the moment she became a big deal with Bad Baby, she's been dressing the part of a hip hop superstar. Now whether it's the extremely expensive $30,000 Johnny Dang designed 14 karat gold pendant, which he made specifically for her, or even the $45,000 14 karat rose and white gold pendant that spells out her full moniker, Bad Baby. That was actually a gift from Lil Yachty, by the way. And the lady, well, she doesn't ever leave the house without a statement piece, you know, somewhere on her body. I guess, except when she's on OnlyFans, because that would, well, that would confuse the point, right? Anyways, move on. Now, over the past few years, well, baby, she's also dropped a bag or two on expensive Rolex watches, including $45,000 on this baby blue edition. Now, this beauty of both 16.5 carats of colorless VVS diamonds, and for those of you keeping track at home, well, that means that bad baby regularly walks around with close to $40,000 hanging from her neck, and at least that much money wrapped around her wrist as well. But, uh, well, how about her mouth? Just wait, we got more for that. Now, the last pricey expense we're gonna take a look at today is how Bad Baby spent on fixing her dental situation. What the hell you say? She went from this to this. Now, back then, she was totally unhappy with the shape or the look of her teeth, so as soon as she got a little healthy scratch burning a hole in her pocket, well, she decided to take matters into her own hands. Well, okay, maybe not her own hands, more like an extremely expensive dentist's hands, but yeah, that's right and that, well, no regular dentist would do, so Baby reached out to Dr. Amir Wahab at Beverly Hills, a man who's been known to make celebrities smile shine. Now, after booking an appointment with this dude, well, Baby, she would drop $40,000 for some stark white veneers that fit over top of her natural teeth. All these kids are doing it. 6 9 Steve will do it. They're, they're, they won't stop. And hey, with the amount of money that Bad Baby has been pulling in lately, well, she's got a whole lot to be smiling about right now. I think that's a good place to, to wrap it up. I'm sweating buckets. 
and I'm jealous of how rich this girl is. I think I was a part of her blow up. Like I was there with the trending video because she was super viral and look at her now. <laughs> Good for you, bad baby. Cash me outside. Oh, sorry, not supposed to say that. My name is Michael McCrenna. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!